Hey, what's up? My name is Ruben. Today I'm going to walk you through how to play number one, Zuchu featuring uh, Rivani. As always, if you have a song that you want me to do a tutorial on, let me know in the comment area. If you learn from this tutorial, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I upload a tutorial. With that, let's kick off right after this. Well, this song is in the key of G sharp and the progression is 6, 4, 1, and then 5. The 6 is an E minor chord. Um, well, uh, since the, the song is in the key of uh, G sharp, that's why my capo is on the first fret. So I've coupled the first fret, then I'm going to play uh, as if I was playing the key of G. So the 6 of course will be the E minor. And then the 4 is C chord. The 1 is G chord. And then the 5 is D chord. So you can either play the open chords or you can play the back chord forms. But if you play now the back chords, this will be E sharp, minor, C sharp, then G sharp major chord. And D sharp. So on how to hold these chords, uh, the E minor chord, I'm using my pointer, I mean my middle finger and my ring finger. So my middle finger is on string number five seconds. I mean, I'm counting now uh, from here, from the capo, I'll count the frets from the capo. So this, this will be the second fret. So my ring finger and my middle finger will be on the second fret. Middle finger playing or holding string number five, and then my uh, ring finger on st string number four, a minor chord. The chord that follows is a C chord. So pointer finger, fret one, string number two, middle finger, string number four on second fret, and third fret, ring finger, string number five. So this is C chord, or technically C sharp. And then uh, the other chord is a one, which is a G chord. So my G chord, uh, my ring finger is on the third fret, string number five, six, middle finger playing string number five on the second fret, and my small finger here playing string number one on the third fret. So that's G chord or G sharp, and then finally the D chord here. So middle finger string number one on the second fret, pointer finger string number three on the th string number three on the second fret and my ring finger playing string number two on the third fret. So that's D chord or D sharp. So those are the open chords. So if you wanna play with the bar chords, of, uh, you will uh, play, the E minor here will be now on the Okay, now you don't need a couple if you're playing the back chords, so you're going to just count the eighth fret. Pointer finger will be on the eighth fret, bar is string one to five. Middle finger will be on uh, string number two, ninth fret. Your ring finger will be on string number four, tenth fret, and small finger string number three on the tenth fret. So that's E sharp minor chord, and then. C sharp, where your pointer finger will be on string number five, but now on the fourth fret, and then your ring finger bar is string two, three, and four on the sixth fret, and then the G chord here, pointer finger bar is string uh, on bar in fourth fret, bar is string one to six, and then your middle finger will be on uh, string number two. No, no, your middle finger will be on string number three, fifth fret, middle uh, ring finger, string number five, on the seventh fret, sixth fret, sorry, and then your small fingers, string number four, on uh, the sixth fret. And then finally this D sharp here. So D sharp, pointer finger, string number five, now on the sixth fret, and then uh, with your your ring finger barring string two, three, and four on the eighth fret. So 
that's how you go and play this song. It's not a hard song to learn. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And also if you have a song that you don't need to do a tutorial on, let me know in the comment area. So guys, with that, let's see each other on the next one. Ciao.